Okay, good day. This is a video to show LM Studio running a Roomba 690. Uh, Roomba 690s usually only come with just proper sensors, so I've added several things. This is an infrared camera down at the bottom, so it can do day and night uh, with all these little sensors, lights, and everything else. This is an ultrasound sensor, so we can get the distance, uh, something I found very important for AI. A uh, little breakout, and goes over to a Orange Pi 3B. Um, which is powered by a charge discharge battery shield with two 186050 batteries. Um, and this is just so that way it can obviously run remote uh, since I can't pull power off the actual device itself. And then we have things connected over USB because why not, right? Okay, so this is the Orange Pi 3B. It is currently reporting uh, ultrasound, which it was having some issues pre prior, but I've managed to solve that. Over here is our terminal. Uh, this is running locally. Um, normally I have this go to a Linux server, but I'm just going to run this here uh, just to show how everything's working. LM Studio, which we will clear here, but we will move up so that way we can watch things. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit start just for explore because, you know, I have cats and stuff. So uh, basically the model is going to take a photo, measure distance. So we have uh, the battery status, we have the ultrasound sensor, and we have history tracking. Um, basically the AI reasoning was just something I added so that way it could view, uh, look at its surroundings. Here's LM Studio. It is going very quick. Uh, very quick. This is a MacBook Pro M4 Max 128 gigabytes RAM, um, just for local AI development, stuff like that. And then here's it obviously responding. So, um, we're going to take a look at our Roomba here. Had to pull it off because it got stuck on a little dumbbell, but... Uh, hopefully it'll start doing some, this is technically only explore mode. Um, it normally will just judge the distances. It also looks for any kind of obstacles and then it explores the area. So me putting my hand here, for example. Yep, so it didn't even touch it. And that's just in order to prevent it from uh, crashing into things because obviously I don't want to keep breaking it. But uh, Roombas tend to, a little weaker over time so um yeah so anyway it's just pretty much observing its area actually we could even turn off the lights here and have it switch over to its nighttime camera um hopefully we'll be able to get those then uh, on my computer or wherever i'm running this from i actually store the frames so you can actually see all the photos uh of what it's looking at so that is it heading into a bathroom uh, yeah, so LM Studio running um, a Roomba 690, uh, just a fun little side project.